Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we'll be doing more seven days, of course. And like I said last time, we've made some changes to ensure that we have a good old fun time. So without further ado, go ahead and switch over, discuss those changes, and then get right into the nitty gritty, shall we? All right. So if you remember last time, we had attempted to bring down a tower, which ended up causing us to not be able to complete the quest, which was not cool, I guess. But anyway, moving on to this, our changes are we've changed the daylight length to 16 from its usual 18, which means we now have two more hours of night. Not only that, but the 24 hour cycle has been changed from 50 minutes down to, or not 50, from 60, as you can see here, 60 default, we've changed it to 50 minutes, meaning we'll only have 50 minutes before uh, another horde night begins. Yeah. Um, also, we have the blood moon frequency at one day, meaning every single day, we're gonna have a horde of zombies coming after us. XP multiplier is, of course, at 300,000. Um, everything else here is pretty much the same, except for the uh, Blood Moon count, which we changed a couple streams ago, I think, to 64 enemies, which means, per person, there are going to be 64 zombies alive at one time, if I'm understanding that correctly. And then uh, that's all that really matters for us here, particularly. So, last time we left off stream, we were still in the middle of, like, building some things up or whatever, and... Um, I did that, and then I prepared for the horde, did a little extra stuff, basically used all the building blocks that I had left. And currently it's like 1930 in game. So I wasn't sure if the game started at, or the nighttime started at 20 now, or if it started at the same time and just went later into the day. Well, I think, judging by the fact that I heard another chime for like daylight happening at 6 rather than 4, I think it's going to happen... Um, at 22, like usual. So we might just have a little extra time to go around and do some stuff here, right before Horde Night begins. But after that, it'll be fine. So let's take a look at uh, some various things here. Um, as you can see, I've built a little more over there. Uh, there. There's not a whole lot that you can see from here, but there's some metal, and then there's some cobble, and then there's some wood, because I ran out of cobblestone. Oh, man, I'm currently making cobblestone, but actually, I think I'm gonna stop that. And then we're just gonna make 473 to get a 500 stack here. That way I can use this cobblestone for other things. So, night is coming, I think. Again, I'm not sure if it's gonna happen at 20 or 22, like usual, but we'll figure it out. Than that, I added some ladder here so I could climb back up from down here rather than have go all the way around. So I would like to use the rocket launcher to uh, kill some zombies before they get into the base. There is one question I have, and it's whether or not the rockets can go through bars. Oh, geez, these are still up. Let me close these. The one thing that would be helpful is if I can just like use the rocket and just fire it through the tunnel where all the zombies are amassed up, right? And uh, that would be really nice uh, to have that. But I, I don't want to fire one and hurt myself by firing too close to the bars. So, okay, 20 passed, and it's not board night. So let's actually look that up real quick. Phase 2 die. Can you fire a rocket through bars? Let's see. Does it specify anything here? Nope, this doesn't even have anything there. Okay, there's literally no information on it. So I think what we'll do, and now we have two extra hours here, let's go back inside of our little base here. And I'm just gonna fire a rocket right here. Okay, so 
Okay, it does not go through bars. That's good to know. Uh, we did take a lot of damage right there. Just to be expected. Yep. All right, well, we've got some farming we can do here. Okay. Of course, I didn't get like any blueberries back. Seeds from that. So. Can I make six seeds? I can. Do that. Or do cats. Do All right. Next up, we got hops. We can do that. Make some seeds here. Replant them. Wait. What? I don't know. Oh, I already had one to begin with. Okay, I'll save that for now. Um, we got coffee here. Which it really sucks that I can't make more than one seed at a time. What's going on? I guess we'll do pumpkins. Uh, uh, do a little bit of farming. Alright, so we got four seeds here. One, two, three, and then four. So we need four more seeds. Wrap that real quick. Okay. Alright, I need to put that one over there. Corn is still growing, chrysanthemum is still growing, aloe and goldenrod and stuff is still growing, so we got plenty. Alright. Go ahead and store our food here. Alright, food, 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 food. Also, while we're here. First of all, make a chest. Okay. Then cobblestone shapes. We'll go with 419 now. I'm just going to throw the rest of this cobblestone that's already made in here. Um, I made two workbenches, or I made one workbench additionally what we had. Because now this is making cement blocks, and this one is still making the 9mm armor piercing rounds. Still have quite a lot of them here. Very nice. Very good to see that. Uh, so that's cool. So we can close that. And then let's go ahead and put our top seed there. That's down here. Alright, we should head back into the dungeon now. A dungeon. I don't know why I'm calling it a dungeon. It's a dungeon now. Alright, let's flip this open. And first things first, I'm going to go ahead and put a, another chest down here that we have extra storage, because one thing we run out of it is the storage here, right? So go ahead and turn on the generator. I'm going to head up top side first, close this, and then we're going to go ahead and start the night down here. God, it's really foggy. I hope it clears up a little bit so I can see further out. We're going to try to kill some zombies with the rocket launcher here. Uh, hopefully... Kill quite a lot. Also, my damn emote stop. No, not that one. Damn it. God. I use the numpad to toggle the uh, the emotes here, and when I do the uh, the number presses to enter in digits to craft, I use the uh, this as well. So that's what kind of triggers them. I've seen no one yet. Why? Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Get back inside quick. Oop. No, not like that. Go ahead and go down here. The little start getting close, I think. Wait, why was this not loaded? No! Demo guy there. Dogs aren't even zombies, they're just wolves that decided to, to like foxes or whatever they are, that decided to just come in here. The shot. Looking for them. Huh. I'm big as far. Nope. 
Why am I getting these, these things? What? Lot out. Nope, hey there. You done? Yeah, you're done. Up, use the rocket launcher a little more here. Nice, we got some, uh, some daylight out here. Not really daylight, but we actually see stuff now. Oh, by the way. I'm not really grouping up together too much, so like I can shoot them. That might work right there. Right there. Ah. Those guys, alright. We're getting a lot of zaps coming down from below, so let's go ahead and get back up here. The zombies might be near the front door. Yep, they are. Yep. Load. Get this guy out. and get some loot while we're here. This is a red bag. This one's a high quality then. Okay. Dorp. Fire here, take them down. I gotta reload. Pull him, pull back crawler. I think I managed to kill that demo guy after hitting his charges, so that's good. Back off for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and toss out the stuff I did not want. See what I can do for the rest of this. Grab some more of these bags while we have a second. One more. Uh, I'm just throwing a couple around. Try to get that. Oh, 
allowing to pass them out. They're looking pretty good so far. Pretty good to have the Magnum, rather than wasting the APM on the ground there. Going to toss out other stuff we don't need right now. Use for the magnum shots here, and uh, actually they're getting really close, so let's mow them down here. Okay, making some good progress. Hit a bug. Maybe not. How much longer on the eight minutes? Oh, that's not good. Let's go ahead and uh, store some of our extra not in ammo and stuff here. Okay, they're getting really close. So we just gotta mow them down. Flash of it, it's so bright. Reload. And get the next one going. Bursts here. Yep. Okay. Oh, Close it down. Okay. Let's go ahead and cancel that real quick so I can scrap some of this stuff that I don't need right now. Uh, shotgun for a second. So I'll be careful with that shotgun. Now we have the demolisher in the area. Go in on that brass to finish. Not done yet. Now it is. Okay. I'll prepare the M60 first. Just 
Minigun. Minigun, the, uh, M60. Get the map. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, no, there's a guy right there. Oh, no, there's a guy right there. Oh, no, Also, I accidentally caused a uh, demolisher to get blown up there, which is not ideal. Go ahead and use a med kit to heal that damage up. Let's get that out. We need to get more damage down the hole here. Dangerous. I cannot see what is happening down here now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some stuff out of here. Fuck, he died. Okay, got a loot, got a loot, got a loot. Close the door, please. Thank you. That guy down. Go ahead and heal real quick. Oh boy. This is why you always need to clean the bags. stuff in here. All right, now I need space. Let's clear out some zombies so we can get in here and actually get our stuff. Okay, go, 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 go.
boys, come on. All right, and it's now day. Oh boy. He's got, he's down. All right. Boy, oh boy. Got some more coming. Can quick. Okay. We're going to store this all again. Electrical thing is still on, so we just want to quietly walk on out here. Go and grab the loot bags that we drop. Yep, he's down. Grab this loot bag and then this loot bag over here. There we go. Let's go ahead and survey the damage on the outside because I did hear some zombies like over here. So they were definitely trying to attack right there. We might fortify this one column. Just like that. Not too much damage around the back here, which is good. Nothing on this side either. I think that's everyone that we've got. Cool, let's go ahead and uh, start scrapping stuff. And dropping what we don't want. Now, I'll just drop that too. Oh, learn that. Drop that. Cool. Well, let's get back in here and remember to crouch. We don't trigger the uh, stuff there. Oof, we went through almost all of our AP ammo for that. So we brought with us anyway. We, we didn't bring all of it, of course. That wouldn't be good. But still, all right, let's go ahead and learn all these books. Robotic Drone Cargo Schematic. Oh, we don't know that one. Probably we'll learn it, huh? Drop that. Drop that. Get everything else we can. Scrap that. This is going to be steel parts. But what? Oh, I hit the equip button on it. I was like, what the hell? Drop that. Drop that. Drop that. Drop that. Um... Drop these pants, drop the chainsaw, drop the glove, scrap that, scrap that. Think everything else? Anything else I can scrap? I guess this uh, trophy, but I don't have room for it quite yet. Ooh, I can combine these two rockets. There we go. That. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. So while that's going on, let's go ahead and turn this off, refuel it. Oh, I don't have gas on me. Hmm. Let's go ahead and sort through and get rid of the stuff we want to get rid of here. All right. Um, let's go ahead and turn this bad boy back on. And with this one. Get one there. Grass will put here. Change that with lead. I think I have some extra lead in here, don't I? I do not. Okay, well that's fine, whatever. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and store. Okay, medical supplies, we'll just hit store. Go ahead and give me my med kits back. Drop the bandages, don't need those. Go ahead and drop the mission here. Scrap that now. Canned food, store it. Drinks for them. Right, we are hungry though, so let's go ahead and we can eat some of the bacon. We're going to eat two bacon and then we'll eat, I think, two of the boiled meat to get the water up as well.
Okay, and then let's go ahead and store the shotgun shells in here. 762 in here. Regular pistol ammo in here. And let's grab another stack of nine of the AP rounds. Shields being produced. Um, let's make more bullet casings. And go ahead and split that. How are we looking on the cement blocks? Pretty good. I'll go ahead and take those. More AP rounds. We'll take those. We'll probably need them. Okay. And then a uh, bit there. Okay. Oh, wait. I have more brass right there. Hold on. Oop. There we go. All right. Let's go and get the rest of it. And remember, today we also have another Horde Knight. So we'll have to prepare to fight against that. We have to repair everything and get ready to do it all again. Jump down here. Gonna go ahead and take all that. Take these shells, the pistol ammo that we don't need right there. And then take this stuff here and here and here. Here. Alright. And let's begin the repairs that we need to do. A little bit of damage there in my own. Place, but that's just kind of how it goes sometimes, you know. Okay, open the door. Now, since we had a couple of guys explode in here this time, of course, going to have a lot more damage, which means more. Ooh, almost down to 500. We're going to use a lot of steel. Turn my flashlight so it's easier to see. Yeah. So much steel is being used now. This is why we got to make sure we kill the demolishers before they uh, have a chance to explode. All right, so I'm going to ignore the, the artificial damage that's, or the superficial damage, I suppose you could call it, that is actually on the sides here. We're just going to focus on the side walls and the roof of the actual main tunnel. How much steel do we actually have left? We have a lot. Okay. Maybe it's not even worth like fixing the ones that are less than a thousand hit points. Because one bar is a thousand hit points. So if I'm repairing this, I'm wasting like eight tenths of a bar, right? How about the roof? How would look in here? We'll do that. That there. Three. Do that. Two, three. Four for that one. I'll leave that. Work. Good. Sure. Okay. One, two for that one. One for that one. Two for that one. That one. That one. That one. Four for this one. Four for this one as well. And for this one. That was enough. Do the roof already? I forgot. I think I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Everything's repaired except for the. Damn, that one hurt quite a bit, didn't it? Feel that again. All right. Now that the tunnel itself is pretty much secured, let's go ahead and finish. Hopefully, we didn't have any damage to the roof this time. We did have a little bit of damage to the ladder from that vial we had right at the beginning. There's also the uh, corners here, which. Do these even matter to repair right away? 
Maybe it has like a, a big obvious crack in it or a pair. But until then, I think we'll just ignore it. It has a crack, so does this one. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and now fix our electric posts that are doing all of the work for us in these lovely Horde Knights. If these go, we're not going to have basically any wiggle room kind of relax during the night. Okay, excellent. So, all that looks peachy keen, Roger Dodger, etc. etc. Okay. One thing we wanted to do, though, was we wanted to upgrade this little area because they had started to come through sides here, which is not ideally do. So we're going to use this concrete block. Go down to here, and I'm just going to use the steel to upgrade it up to there. So that should hopefully prevent them from trying to dig in the sides. Maybe? I think? Who knows? Now I'm going to pick up some of these blade traps and I'm going to remove them, or not remove them, I'm going to move them around. The word. So that we have a little more defensive out front. Be nice. Damn, it takes so long to get... Alright, so I'll just remove those two for right now because I have other ones in the base that I'm not actively using here. So what we'll do, let's put one right there, put one right there, because they like to come from that side. Since the base is here, they don't have much uh, room for you know, movement and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and open the door. We're just going to come back up here, and actually my repair stuff can go back into there. Okay. Am I low on anything here, by the way? Uh, I guess iron. I'm a little low on there. Let's grab some iron while we're at it. We'll get our wire tool, if we still have over here. Oops, uh, all right, go ahead and make more brass tips if you'd be so kind, and some bullet tips while we're at it. Uh, we got steel still farming here. That, we'll put that in here. We'll grab half of this iron. You know what, actually? Uh, from this furnace, go ahead and start making that little bit of horse iron. Great. Grab these cement blocks. Let's grab this. The ammo. And throw the grass into there. Toss those in there. Toss that in there. Are these stacked yet? Nope, not quite. Toss those in there. Uh, and then toss that in there. Okay, we need the wire tool, take these blade traps, also take these, give me three nodes, shouldn't need those three nodes, but I'll take them for right now. Uh, what do I need to repair this? Repair kit? Yeah, okay. I don't need to do it right now, so that's fine. Alright, so let's go here. All right, so in order to do this, we have a node here, so what we probably want to do is if I just put a node, like, up there to an area where it's going to be secure from, like, bile and stuff like that, I should be able to go, like, this? Like that. Just make sure that the uh, electric trap is still connected there. Perfect, it is. And then we can go from down here over to the middle blade trap. From the middle blade trap over to that one. Excellent, excellent. I'm going to leave the blade trap there. We'll do this. Put another one right here. And 
think we just kind of want to go over this way, right? Most of them come from this this angle, I think. We can connect this one over to here. We can just kind of connect all of these in together. I have them kind of weaken the enemy before they get to me. There we go. A little bit of extra defense before we, you know, encounter the enemy. Right, so while we're out here, uh, we will need to grab more resources and stuff. But for now, let's go ahead and continue just building out here, shall we? It's not going to give us any experience at this point, but it doesn't really matter. Speaking of experience, we have 11 levels, so uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get position leveled up all the way, because that will give us better uh, healing abilities here. Um, might as well get Grease Monkey leveled up while we're in this category. And then Robotics, I'll level up a little bit. At this point, we're just spending abilities to pad everything out. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this find this land in half. And bam, right there. All right. Then let's go ahead and put a kind of retaining wall here. This large mass of what we got here. The one thing that was happening was the zombies were just uh, kind of running against wall. They were having to jump up and I was kind of throwing off my rocket launcher aim, right? So I think if we manage to block all this area off, it might make it easier. I don't know. Is that airdrop by the way it is not too far away but maybe a little too far away for right now today all right the only thing we got to remember while we are you know going about our our day we only have one day to prepare anything we want or anything we need specifically. So I'd rather get this little bit of land here all churned out and looking good. I gotta be careful with placement because I can't pick these blocks up after I place them. At least not easily. Dip in the land there threw me off. We are out of concrete. Maybe we can switch over to the cobblestone now. Easier to do three than four. That fourth one's a little bit tricky if you hit the wrong point of the box. This. Okay, looking good. So far, filling this baby in. We got five, six, seven hours left until the horde. 
be plenty of time for us to finish this little area up and then continue from there. I want to prepare around 2021. That way we have plenty of time to get our stuff together, get the ammo we need for the night. Go from there. Also might help with the, the rocket launcher at least to be if I were to make some actual gates into the compound then the gates would limit where they can like come in from right I can make a, uh, a wall here but leave like openings for them to come in at. That could help. But I'd want to kind of think the whole area out first before I do that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. A little bit too fast there. Okay, this little patch of land is finished. Let's uh, ignore building more of it for now. Uh, one thing that we will have to do. Since this place was barely holding on to, sorry, open back up. Since this place was previously just barely holding on to enough power, if we turn this on, you can see it's maxed. We need more uh, generators here. We might even need a new generator bank as well, given how many blades are there. I don't think we will, but we'll just grab the rest of the things I have here. Uh, one, two, three, and four. I think is the max for that one. Uh, we're looking at 21 minutes for the rest of this ammo to complete. Over here we got more cement blocks, and then we're going to run out there. How about here? We still got plenty of this coming in. I'm not sure why everything's in here. Um, let's go with uh, 925. Max that. And hit uh, that button. Okay. Concrete shapes, make max. 76 minutes, okay. Perfect. I can go ahead and paste this stuff back into here for right now. Um, uh, excellent, excellent. Okay. What do I need to make? Real quick, um, floor casing. Oh. Um, how's this looking? Looking good. I don't have any more stuff in there though. Does it need more clay? Not really. Let's go ahead and turn that off for right now then. Go ahead and store this in here. Alright, 9mm AP round. Boxes of them. I can make six more boxes. There we go. And then what am I low on? I'm low on the bullet casings, of course. Yep. Or our bottleneck here is brass right here. Wait, was it? No, hold on. That wasn't right. I have to have bullet tips with me, I think. Yeah. Now our bottleneck is, of course. We got a, a bunch. I'll do that. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, bottleneck's brass. We have plenty of spare bullet heads and stuff left, but it's just. I'll let them go. Sort that. I do need more gasoline as well to refuel thing there. Um, let's go ahead and put my there. All right, so these are going into a place. Okay, just kind of 
feeling out what all I got here. Um, I got gels. I got a bunch of 762 left in that other place. I need my 44 rounds. One, two, three. We'll go with three of them. There go. All right, anything else I can bring along, right? Go ahead and top off our repair kits. Those will be great. And uh, we're all for right now. Okay. What time is it? Seven? Okay. Okay, here we'll do. Let's grab um, this. All right. And let's, first of all, let's go and turn on the blade trap area over here. Make sure that we have enough power with all these generators in it. That's what's important to do. Oh, uh, here. Fuel it. Oh, okay, perfect. We have nowhere near maximum now. And we're going to go ahead and store two stacks of the magnum rounds in here, along with the gasoline. Because gasoline is what we'll be needing to refuel things if things go sideways. To have here. Um, these blocks I might as well also just store in here and store the iron that I was keeping as well. Okay. I'm not making anything right now? No? Okay. I wouldn't repair the nail driver then. Okay. Close that door. Alright, we have four hours before the next horde comes. So I think what we will do is let's go get the airdrop. And along the way, we're going to take apart cars and pray we get some more brass. Let's see what we can do. Airdrop should be on the road, so as long as we follow the road, we can get to it. That's a good car. Up just past it, right there. Got some brass there, that looks good. If I remember correctly, um, taking apart, like scrapping stuff early, is actually a bad move because you get more to put in the works. So maybe instead of scrapping trophies and stuff, I'll actually hold on to them. It might be good to do. Also, the truck in there, but I don't know if I want to waste my time going and getting the truck clearing up the zombies that are there, you know. Oop. Just the E button. More cars on this road right here. Up out here. Search this first before we completely take it apart. We can get some lead and stuff from it too. Okay, come on, in the car. Alright, so we got the supplies here, and what we get? We got steel armor, huh? Open that up. If I scrap it, it just turns into that stuff. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and just drop all this. Can't do anything with that. Let's search this trash. So that could potentially have brass in it. Okay. Let's go. Oh, the car. That part quick. Get to the point where it's getting a little late. I'm kind of getting antsy being away from the house this long. We'll head back at 20, 20.30, I think. We'll head back. We have everything prepared. We just need to, you know, get into position. Of course, there's no cars here. What am I thinking? Air shop. Well, this didn't work out. But this road here. Let's start with that car and then just work our way back. 
Maybe see some more that way. Maybe a little bit too far for us to head right now. Come on, in the truck. Let's go. I can just throw the battery in the furnace. It scraps and gives me lead. Regardless, let's go ahead and pull up here. Get this last little car next to us. In the car! Please. the gate. Sorry. Almost forgot about that. That would have been bad. Alright. We have roughly an hour and a half to get everything sorted out here, so we'll throw that in there. Um, we'll throw these trophies in there. Drop the shovel. And I throw the headlights into the furnace. And will they melt down? Looks like they do. Cool. Alright. Um. What about batteries? Do batteries work? I'm gonna scrap that. Ah, hold on to the engine. Okay, that's fine. That, toss that, toss that, toss that. Ah, uh, yeah. Put that in there. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Double check everything here. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. Here we go. Freaking battery. Can I throw it in? It works! Nice. Alright, let's wait for the radiator here to finish. And then I will make all the lead I turn up to brass casings I can. Gotta turn these back on too. Alright, let's go! Not much time. Make sure we're all fully loaded. We are. Okay. Close over. Thank you. All right, moving on. Oops. Turn this baby on. I'm gonna go ahead and store the rocket launcher in here just so we don't accidentally swap to it. Uh, we'll use it once we play. There we go. Alright. And before the actual horde comes, I want to go ahead and break down some of these. At least do that. Hold on to this bullet here. Uh, we might need more of it. As things. Now, we'll see how we do with just uh, three stacks, which is 800 rounds of the night. I didn't really keep track of how much we had to begin with last time, so we'll see what happens this time. Okay. Okay. While we're waiting for the board, I'm gonna look at some stats, see what else we could get. Um, that would help us, I guess. Salvage operations. We can get this. This will be our focus until it's maxed out. That way we can get higher uh, quality resources, more resources from vehicles, because that'll help us get more brass. Brass is what we need to make more bullets to survive along. After that, um, get another point of cardio. We're coming. Let's start with the uh, magnet. I'm gonna hold off on using the uh, 
SMG until we actually have to. I know we're here they're just churning up their guts outside. Love to see that. Double up too, that's good. Now the main problem with seeing the horde is just there's so many zombies that are like pushing from the back. Causing them to uh, come further and further up, even though they're being electrocuted. It's not ideal at all. It's not what you want to see. We're gonna have to use the SMG now. I think there's a demolisher back there, so let's take him out first. Reload. for the explosive. I know it's like the charges on their chest, but like where does it actually start, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and get the loop over. It's really easy here. Have a radiation scrubber on it as well. Crop, crop. Grab the rest of the loot out here. Close it. We'll close it, I think. Almost even repairs. Put the need repairs to switch to the M60. Get a guy on the ground here. I'm gonna miss him. Okay. 
switch to the um, SMG. They're getting a little bit cluttered here now. If I can take them down real quick, we have some space for us to breathe. I'm sick to hit that guy in the face. Let's go ahead and pair that. Leave all this. Leave that in there. Let's grab that. And then let's go ahead and spin the puffer. Yep. Die, you son of bitches! Okay, we're done. Okay, let's go to repair. Or not repair, reload. And once that's done, let's go ahead and scrap the dog. Okay, oops. Hey, dog! Pop into my beef factory. Oops. Go ahead and pop all this stuff in here quick. We got some assholes here to see what it looks like. Got to reload. Hold on, get stuck. Okay, we need to go mold down the show. Come on. Reload, reload, reload. Ah, you found a bit. Oh, we're getting crowded here now, huh? Get them all next to me, okay? That dog really just pushed that guy up all the way here. Come on, reload. I'm gonna real quick try to loot. Got the SMG. What do I got? Have some birds. Are you guys getting past your foot quick? There's gotta be all the zombies pushing them on the back. Four more hours left tonight. Three and a half, technically, but the way. Bikers always the ones to get close. Yep. 
Okay. How to repair it. Goddamn zombies! Ah! There's a freaking Johnny Rambo over here. Jesus Christ. Getting away from the bag. Honestly, I kind of almost wanted the monster to come so they can uh, blow up these assholes. No way to get like past them here. I need like something to collect the bag. I think a top is blew up close by. Not ideal. Ah, the stop trying to attack my door, y'all. Oh, I'm not an animal for that. Okay. Uh, Alright, one hour and twenty minutes left. Oof. Can't do all the damn bags in the way, y'all. Damn it. Where's that hole over there? Okay. Let me bandage up real quick. It was shooting, you know that? Yeah. Okay. SMG. This is not going too well anymore, is it? Uh. I can't even 
see like the enemies of the time. Like, I can see the ones that are like coming, but I can't see the ones who are like at the door. Stop it. Happened to all the uh, things here. Also, why is everyone running still? Okay, don't start crawling, you piece of shit. Because I have too many. Okay. Well, at this point. It's a matter of dropping stuff that I don't need. Ooh, we can finally make an eight times scope. Grab another horse somehow. Um, drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that. Go ahead and scrap the crossbow bolts. Drop that, scrap that. Like I said, I'm gonna try not to scrap any of the uh, like actually important stuff, like the trophies and stuff like that. We can, I think we can melt those down for more than what they are. Work individually, right? Oops, not equipped. Why did I? Not that one. Yeah, yeah. Drop the auger. Um, let's go with drop that. Drop that. Scrap that. Learn that. Learn that. Uh, drop that. Drop that. Grab the rest of the loot. Again, I don't know why... Those three were worthless. Okay, good to know. Something definitely happened, though, that caused the... Uh... Oh. Storage chest. Give me all this. All right. Something well, literally happened that caused all of the damage to the uh, augury bits. Whatever the hell. So the electrical bits. My God. I'm just losing my mind trying to talk. I don't know why. Throw this stuff in here. Throw that stuff in there. Get more bullet tips. Far waiting for that stuff to melt. Iron, we can throw this in there, split it up, go. 
I should drop these. On. Okay. Throw everything there. Go ahead and eat a tuna fish gravy. Go. That should give me up all the way. Need. Put that in there. Uh, wait for that to finish. Throw that. Pistol ammo. Just throw that in there. That goes right there. Hit it. Yep. I'm just gonna take this whole stack so I don't have to keep putting it in there and stuff. Alright, medical supplies. For it. Give me this last med kit. Put those in there now. For the blood bags and the beers. There you go. All that in there. Uh, drop that. I think the medical pills here. Will I have shotgun parts in there? Why? Shotgun ammo. Ugh, man. That was somehow rougher than the, the previous one was, wouldn't you say? Something felt way different. Ah, that particular uh, instance of the enemy, right? It barely took any time at all, which is not good for us in this light. Okay. But well, we found out we can barely last with the amount of ammunition we had, which is, again, not, not ideal at all. Um, let's go grab the rest and repair the structures that were damaged tonight and see what happened to our electrical fences. I don't know if it was just sheer volume of, like, the zombies going through it that caused it to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and refuel our generator here. Up there. And then we'll grab our repairing gear. And I'm also going to grab the blocks. Okay. Then we took a little bit of damage up here, did we? Yeah, that one. Okay. Let's start with the electrical. What? None of it's damaged. Although that one is disappeared. Uh, there was one there, it's no longer there anymore. Is, is that why? No, they got that one, and it caused this whole problem. Oh, you sons of bitches. Okay, well. How dare they? I guess a little, can I make redundancy? I don't think I can. I think I tried before, but it was like, it won't let you connect. Multiple of the wire traps up. How dare they do that one? That one and that one and that one and that one. That one. Yeah. Well, I guess while we're here, I can finish repairing the ones that are damaged. One trap goes and the rest go with it. Man. That is just a bad... Bad way to do things, huh? Last one in the line there. That one's not even connected to anything anymore, what? Okay. I forgot I can jump like hella high now. Speaking of... Let me go ahead and what we were saying we were going to do salvage operations, right? And then and that's all we really need under this particular one. Uh, we could then level up our cardio to max. Huntsman was harvest resource from animals. I don't really need that. Pain tolerance will go ahead and level up because that is our damage uh, that we take. We take less, 25% less damage and we can't get stunned, which is perfect for us right now. Uh, what else do we have that we can get? This one's pretty much all finished, except for those two, which aren't really going to help us too much. I guess let's go to Robotics Inventor at that level. Alright, so we have some time. 
Let's get the rest of the loot that we have to beat up here. And then... Okay, turn this off now. We don't need to have it burning if we're not producing stuff, you know. Uh, make more cement. Do it. Okay. This, I can use the lead trophies. Hold in there. I'm gonna grab this lead scrap right here and throw it in after the door handle finishes. And while that goes, we'll do that. That was a lot of brass. Not bad. Okay. Let's have this brass scrap here. We have a shotgun. We have this and that. The rest of the stuff is going to be put into uh, the chest again. What am I missing here? I have steel, I have components, I have that. I guess cobblestone, but I'm not using cobblestone anymore. That's fine. Oh, that's all good. Um, yeah. Have we looking over here? Perfect. How's this looking? Excellent. All right, let's grab that. And then we needed an electrical component. We also need our electric, electric fence posts. Okay. Prep one, and then we'll cancel all the 9mm. Make all of it again. Okay. Really bad. Really, really, really bad. Okay. Um. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Pretty sure we have a screamer somewhere. I'm trying to think what we can do right now to maximize our survivability on the next night. Because other than using like all of our AP ammunition, uh, we're not going to have a good time, right? So it's not good. What's she attacking at? Up there. Hacking down there? I think she is. I guess this is the only way up to the base, ain't it? Animus. Well, yeah. Whatever. Alright. Go ahead and get the here. Here, you can just place it. Am I missing two? Am I missing two of them? Okay, whatever. I'm going to place that one there. And then connect this one down to there. This one can go over to that one. And then if I take this one and go over to this, it's going to mess things up. I think it is. The Connected that one, and then so these ones are running. I don't even know right now. Okay, here's what we'll do. Here's what we will do. Generator on. Okay, nope, looks like they all work. Not sure how, but they work, so that's all necessary for me here. Just not get hit by my blade traps. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and actually can I just like, jump from the freaking ground level? Almost. I can put this block here and then go whoop. Cool. And then I can just go that frame. Excellent. I think I uh, 
There might be one or two things up here that's kind of messed up now, but I think for the most part we're okay. Damn it, all this. Seriously, what happened like right next? Did a demolisher explode up here? Is that what happened? Because a cop wouldn't have done all that damage. It had to have been a demo. Bam. Okay, well. Win some, you lose some. Go ahead and throw the uh, wire tools in here. Okay, we'll just need to begin repairing our base. Okay. Also, generator off, so I don't electrocute myself. That would be embarrassing. Okay. Repair what we can. Well, I guess. That one. Oops. Place. Whatever. Okay. Ooh, nine, nine, nine. Nice. One, two, three, four for that one. And then four for this one, two. Three for this one. Four for this one. That one. Two for that one. Floor looked good, right? Yeah, I think that. How did this side get damaged, but this side did not like take any damage? Makes no sense to me. Pack of dogs, huh? Kind of messed up a doll. Oh, I'll take the meat anyway. Make more farm plots. Not that we need farm plots right now, since we're basically in a uh, chaotic survival situation where we are always about to die to the horde. Okay, looks like everything here is fixed now. Love to see it. Okay. I know there's iron right there, but at this particular moment, uh, I'm not sure we want to make a base for it. I don't know. I'll leave it like a little bit exposed. Maybe put like a little, let's say put a little fucking ring around it, but apparently the game decided, no, we're gonna put a, a block right on top of it. That, that'll be fine. I can still, okay. Go ahead and use up all the cement we got here on the outside wall of this area. Again, I'm not sure I'm not sure what else we can really do right now against uh, what we've been seeing happening, right? This is the best base, the best bet right now that we've created. So holding off further against the enemy who we're reduced to. If we had 762 AP rounds, that would be nice. We could just kind of cut through all of them with the M60. The fact we do not have that really throws off the whole thing. Hmm. Do 
do what to do. I could extend this maze a little bit, try to make it longer so they have more of a tunnel to go through, but I think that would just delay the inevitable, especially when they're pushing each other forward. The only thing I could really do to help out would be to adjust the settings, make not so many spawn at the same time so they're not pushing each other. And that feels like cheating. that little bit first so that I could do over here um, kind of a wall. It's gotta be three tall due to the freaking thing there. Well that's nasty. I have my auger I could just Probably easier, but okay, and then we'll do this. Okay. With this, they they have to they can go around the wall a little. Um, why don't I put this here as well? I think we have a. Do I have a little? Yeah, I have a little notch cut in there. Oops, put one down there. So remember, our original plan was to like extend all the way over there, but at this point, I don't think it's going to be very possible for us, um, given how much time that we have to gather resources to build and to fortify, right? For now, I'm just going to make a a smaller wall around here, I think. Take a real quick look at this corner here. Looks like they didn't do much damage, which is good to see. Ah, um, oh man. Mm. So, what if we something like this? Then also here. Have this kind of be like a an entryway for them. Like run up do the thing, yeah. So this way they have just like a straight way into there. That's the way they'll be going. I'm out. Cobble now. Not ideal. Also, especially not ideal because now they have a little thing to go up there. So, uh... Cobblestone. That's fine. Oop. Jeez. Uh, How did this stuff even get damaged? What? I guess birds. But whatever. Okay. Jump. Jump. Wouldn't get... Back into the hole here. There, that. Okay. Go ahead and store our upgrade materials. 
for repair materials, I should say. So that there. I'm just going to go ahead and scrap these normal frames here for now. Let's go ahead and I'm going to, just to fix the fuel consumption. Uh, oh, I can't pick these up because they're out of range of my land claim block. Of course. Of course. Well, let's go ahead and close the door. That way we're, we're ready for the horde night again. And we'll have some 762 in the thing over there. Let's go ahead and get the ammo and stuff we need to survive now. And store the other stuff we do not need like yet. Okay. Let's get... Let's just cap off that. And I'll turn... All of these into ammunition for that. I think we're just gonna need a lot of it, to be honest. Okay, let's make sure our guns are reloaded. Good, and this. Okay. Alright, let's grab cobblestone. Grab all this. Cobblestone shapes. Go ahead and make all of them we can. Cobblestone rocks. Make all we can. This will be nice since I'm not breaking down uh, stuff anymore. The only thing that'll matter is repairing items. Uh, just a thing, so. Whatever. Oh. Okay. How are our furnaces looking? Of course, this one's pretty much used up. Fine. That's still going. This one's just producing that stuff. That's okay. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of the cement we have here. And more concrete shapes. Boom, boom. Then, do I have more stone stored here? I do. Grab all this stone. And then we'll grab this sand and this stuff. I'll make max. What's my limiting factor right Bam. Okay, so that is 743. And 743. Easy. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and throw the rock back in here. And the extra cement can go in there. Oh my god. I uh, heard some sirens outside. And uh, police sirens. Uh, I swore it was a zombie screaming. Just from the sound of it, like starting up. Crazy. Let's do that. I don't think I need this many magnum shells. The, the magnum actually seems to be not too helpful unless we're trying to precision shoot them. So. At this particular moment, we're not doing too much with that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our drone, because I'm going to have it heal us if we do get into an instance where we are getting, uh, you know, shot at and stuff. We've got quite a lot of time before any of these finish. Nice, okay. We have a lot more ammo now. How much more can I make? 14 more boxes, okay. That'll keep us going for a little while. Our issue now is we're running low on gunpowder, which uh, really we just need coal for. I have a good coal mine nearby, so that's good. Let's go ahead and turn this stuff, start producing it into... Uh... Huh? Oh, it doesn't have any wood in it. Let's go into that. That'll start at least producing a little bit of gunpowder while we're... Oh, I'm making a bunch of gas, too. Hard. God, that noise is so annoying. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to go out and do anything right now, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, doing some loose. What I'll try to do 
this horde knight is I would like to focus on trying to get this stuff produced. So we'll work on that. Mushrooms are done. Pick those at some point. Oop, let's get some food for the kid because we are a little hungry, actually. Go ahead and eat the toast. I'm going to eat the last two of these boiled meats. Then let's go ahead and drink down a... No, not scrap. Also, I can just scrap, like, actual food or drink, I should say. I can just scrap it directly in the glass, huh? I messed up. Okay. Throw that stuff in there. Good, good, good. Okay. So while we are waiting for night to fall, um, let's go ahead and I guess we have a little extra this stuff and this here too. Actually, I should probably before I do anything else finish doing this so it doesn't cause any issues down the line before I start doing the other stuff. And then we'll just do this. We're gonna make another one kind of right here. Make this whole area kind of enclosed. Now, I'm not necessarily going to fill that in completely, but I will just kind of leave this area open. Three. Go with three by three. That way I can put a uh, bunch of blade traps in this little tunnel here eventually. Kind of go for it. That'll be cool. Uh, let's switch out the cobble with the cement, and I'll just cement this path here. bit here. And of course, we got to get back into the base before night falls. We have another hour and a half here, so okay for now. He says nervously. Anytime you're like just messing around right before night happens, um, it can get dangerous. Need to be careful. I'm gonna be careful not to run out of these before we get to here. Excellent. Good looks good. Okay, so now we have another like kill row that we can use at some point. Uh, hopefully, little force zombies to move down this little path. Um, maybe kind of important on this area a little bit later at some point. Um, One, two, three, so let's do this here as well. Now we don't be able to come in this way. Kind of do some little improvised like funneling here, right? So we have one, two, and three here. So one, two, three. Here, go, three, three. I think this will be all we're going to be able to do right now. Um, I do plan to, I want to have like a, uh, an angle from the coming from that side there. And then there, obviously, there, obviously. And they can come into this way here. Um, actually, real quick, I would like to this. So they have a it, it's smooth as they come in here, right? A little extra there. Okay, let's let's stop messing around. Let's get inside and uh, turn on the the generators.
to generate four, I should say. All right. Generator on. So the one thing that's throwing us off like a lot is the... Come on. Pull a drone. Startup sequence activated. Ah. Great to see you, Master. Okay. Never mind. All right, uh, let's close the hatch as well. I'm going to be extra careful. All right, drone. I'm going to expect you to heal me as night happens, Frost. It'll be very important, so make sure you do. All right. Ooh. Also, uh, we have a bunch of robotic parts. We could possibly make some automated turrets, like shotgun stuff, because we do have so many shotgun shells. Uh, and the shotgun in this area here doesn't really help too much, as we've seen. But we'll just kind of have to see how the night goes. Actually, I'm going to cancel this, and I'm just going to throw all this stuff in here. Oh, I have less stuff that's going to be kicked into my inventory, as you see. Incoming enemies, prepare yeah, to just throw all this in here. Yep. Here they come! I'm going to start out with just the magnum until they really start piling up. And then I'll switch to another gun. Right. right now, if they're just trickling at this point, probably best to do this. So there's not waste enough ammo, right? I'm actually starting to lag for some reason. Maybe I am having too many zombies or something? There's some stuff going on outside, I don't know. Actually, the problems in the game seem to help with the lag issue, so maybe I'll just... Okay. Not that long. It was just that one little second that they were all spotted. Yeah. Switch to the M60. I'll put them down here. Since this can't penetrate, it's not going to do a whole lot of stuff, but we can at least do some damage here. And get some ammunition out of our inventory. Thanks, I know. Think about it. Good point. Of course, it's starting to get a little closer. What? What? You were dead, dude. Knock it off. Infected, that's great. The other thing needs to be repaired. Hit it. And we're going to switch to something up here. Uh, 
Good if they get close. A little bit too far away though, it's not too much. Okay, hold on, is this are these shells stronger than the AP shells? Top blow up again. Yep. What is my my hand eye What is that? Mean? A deep laceration. Okay. I'm gonna use a bandage then. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and 
spray down the tunnel. Cancel the uh, concrete we're making. The cobblestone, whatever the hell it is. Dude, God, what the hell, sir? Excuse you. Reload, come on. Reload, reload, let's go. Saka! Hey! Get out of here, dog. Bikers, why do they always get through? Okay, we need to try and get some more loot here. So we're starting to fill up the tunnel and we're not doing good. I'll fucking get back up. Come on. Excuse y'all. Yep, I can read. What the fuck? Get out of here. Yeah, one gets through and then it's like all of them are like... They're here, around the door! Stop reloading a fraction of a second too soon. It just needs to go through the whole line and make sure it's hours left. Oh boy. All the electrical traps further back have been uh, damaged beyond being able to be used. That's great. Well, they've destroyed some. Now. That's really great. All the cops blew up and destroyed like a, a crucial one somewhere. 
So far, it looks like shooting into the bags hasn't caused too much damage to them. With the shotgun, so that's cool. Do that have to be repaired? I'm not ready to fire. Goddamn. After four, they just get like hella aggressive. No, no, no. Come on, I put so many rounds into him after his thing activated. That's so bullshit. Of my dude. Welcome to the zombie killing. Not going too well tonight. At least it's morning now. I oh, damn. Yes, stop, please! Oh, out of that. Go to the SMG now. Ah, stop! Okay. Good God. Now use the Magnum. The sound made it seem like the, 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 the traps wanted to work. They just couldn't? Huh. Well, go ahead and use another med kit. I think we have like dozens of these, huh? Okay, let's rearrange my ammo so I know which ones I'm keeping and which ones are just extra bonuses. God. Well, go ahead and store what we can in here. Let's scrap these. That doesn't matter. Drop that, drop that, drop that. What? No, stop. Hold on. What did I do? Drop, 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 drop. Hmm? Drop that. That's going pretty good, Ragged. We're getting uh, a little bit, um, 
Overrun, though. Which is not ideal at this time. But, you know what? That's kind of the point. Otherwise, we're gonna run into a bunch of these guys, right? Got that. Need these bandages. This stuff here. Okay. Sounds like the trap got him. Let me go ahead and uh, refuel this generator off, I guess. I can't refuel it, so I'm not fueling me right now. Let's finish grabbing loot. There we go, got her. Alright. Anything else back here damaged? No, this is pretty good. Or, I mean, loot bags. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. These, don't need those. Alright. These definitely took some damage here. Let's get this stuff open, actually. Chorus chest. Take all. And then make a bunch of cobblestone rocks so I can take the rest of it. Cool. Alright. Let's go and store our stuff, repair the base, and then hopefully try and assess the situation and what to upgrade where. All right, first of all, the canned food, because that stuff takes up a lot of space. Cheese and chili. I guess we're starting to get stacks of food here. Okay. Let's sell that garbage. Medical supplies, store all. Pass. I need to take some antibiotics. Go ahead and actually, uh, let's take the herbal ones. Since those will do what I need to do. All right, over in this furnace, we'll throw in the doorknobs and the trophies here. Up into this one. Can I throw in these? Will these melt down into iron? I think they will. All right. Let's go ahead and keep making steel on this furnace then. Um, didn't store this stuff. Am I storing any more normal pistol rounds? Nope. I am full of pistol. Let's go ahead and just take all the AP ammo out of here. Throw all the uh, the normal pistol rounds into there. Go ahead and I'm gonna drink the red tea and then store the rest of the stuff in here. Okay, that looks. Do I have this iron here? I can. Okay. How is the cement blocks coming? Pretty good. How's the ammo coming? Good. All right. That into there. I'm gonna sort of put there. Put that there. All right. Yeah, this drone really didn't heal me at all, did it? Uh, I think I'm just gonna put it back. That was not a uh, not good. All right. We need to eat, but I'll eat in a moment. Oh, it seems I can run without losing like any stamina now. Cool. All right, come back down, take the rest of the loot, go ahead and take out all of our repair materials, gasoline, so I can fill this bad boy back up. Oops. Oh. That in there, and then I'll just throw the rest of the 762 and the AP rounds in there, along with these extra magnum shots, shotgun rounds, trying to make everything nice, beautiful there. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I guess let's begin the repairs. Oh right, I. Let's do this. One with them. Okay, all this stuff looks good. Jump down here and see what the damage is to my electric posts. Oh, cool. That one's completely. That's completely fine. I thought it was disabled. Those are all good. Those are fine. Okay, what the hell happened here? Why did we suddenly stop working over here, guys? Huh? 
Oh, 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 I almost fell in. That would have been bad. That one's good. That one's fine. That one's fine. Where's... Where's your cable at? Aren't you... Wait, you're the end one, right? So you wouldn't have a cable there. Yeah. You only have one cable on you. Far. Then why did the electrical wires stop working last night? What the hell? Something's funky. Does the zombie somehow get immune to it? Weird. Good. Any other major cracks developing here? Those are. That is. That one's pretty bad shape. And demolishers, anyway. Okay. How's the rest of this look? Not too good, to be honest. Quite low. That one. Okay. The roof should be good. Let's check these out. What? Can the zombies just disable wires? Really not. What? That makes no damn sense. We'll attach to this one. Oh, now that wire shows up? What? Get out of here. And why weren't these all completely destroyed? Hmm. Yep. Dead. Alright, so we were leveling up robotics to max now. Next up, let's level up Huntsman. Why not? Uh, then we'll get well insulated so I don't get overheated or whatnot. Let's get. That still doesn't even matter. Um, let's level up heavy armor for the hell of it. Once everything else is pretty much where I want it to be. Okay. Now let's repair the floor. So we don't have zombies falling through the floor here. That would be bad. zombie sigh over there. How much steel do I have left? 100? Shut up, zombie lady. Alright. Why down you? Don't necessarily know. Nice. 
cast that one out. Okay. And what I wouldn't give for like something to just automatically do this for me. Okay. Goes out, repair the door. Um, I think that's everything repaired that needs to be repaired. Right now. Yep, okay. Go ahead and throw my materials back into here. Oh, the, the hatch needs to be repaired. There we go. Okay. Repairs completed. Nice. Go ahead and throw it back in there. Then let's go grab the rest of the materials, work through some stuff, get some food in us, because we are starving right now. Go ahead and eat that. And then eat a couple of bacon, I think. That should get us where we want to go. Really a zombie right now. More bullets, please. Or hasten I mean. Okay, that over. Let's grab this stuff. That up there. Okay. Are we looking over this way? Oh, this is actually done. So turn that off. Oop. Wait, can you not? Knocking on my door, asshole. I like how that thing was what killed him. Not my bullet, but the little thing just knocking him over. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so let me hop back in here. Shotgun turret. Steel, motion sensor, of course. And shotgun parts, of course. I, I need those, which I have been throwing away. Uh, actually, I got some. Nice, okay, cool. In that case, I need a motion sensor, which is electrical parts and all that stuff. Okay, so boink, boink, boink. Uh, motion sensor, let's go ahead and make five of these bad boys real quick. I think we can make a lot of normal iron, it looks like. How's this looking? Finish that off. Yep. Stop all those. Stop all this. Okay. That's all being made, and we're making motion sensors here. Cancel the bullet. Um, so what else do we need? We needed a uh, shotgun turret. We need steel, polymer, oil, and shotgun parts. Okay, so we don't need robotics. Okay, whatever. Steel, polymer, 
oil. Got plenty of. And then shotgun parts. So wait, what are robotics for? I can make a robotic sledge and a robotic turret. Huh. Okay. Oh, whatever. Second turret, make two. Don't have a lot of time. This is not great. Alright, so once we get. These require power. Hmm. No, no matter. We'll wait for this 15 seconds to finish, and we'll make all these uh, uh, shotgun turrets. Can't make... Oh, I can make SMG turrets, but if I do that, then I'll be using my ammunition for my main gun. Not do that. Okay. Motion sensors. Done. Create all shotgun turrets. 9mm AP boxes. Go. Wait. Throw this stuff back. Not that one. Um... Robotic stuff, robotic sledge. Maybe those could help out. For now, we'll just go ahead and put this stuff back. Okay. And then, how's this stuff producing? Good. Looks good. Okay. Before night begins again, we need to exit real quick because there's one setting I want to change. Um, uh, we're we're going to set daylight length back to normal. Because I feel like the last couple of hours are just messing us up more than they should be. Um, and so it, it's just, I'm going to set these back to normal. Basically, we'll still have the, uh, the, the frequent everyday blood moon stuff. But uh, I just feel like it's getting a little overkill for us, you know what I'm saying? We're getting to the point where it's absolutely messing us up. To have that many because they're just or to have it go on that long because for some reason towards the end of the night our trap just stops working so and how it goes It'll load one day. It always takes so long to get back into the world, but I guess it is a huge open world game, so I mean, it makes sense to have everything loaded. You know? All right. How's this look? All was one take. Did it tell me the build time here? Eight minutes. Okay. Quite a while. Uh, we're definitely not going to be sitting around waiting for that. So, grab this cement that we got here. I'm going to use the concrete shapes. We're going to make those just to have a bunch more outputting here. Um, I'm going to grab these lights, the nodes, throw that in there. Let's grab this battery bank, as well as some of our better batteries here. Okay. Excellent. And then we're going to go ahead and... I, can, I grabbed the lights, yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. So, what we are going to do next, we're going to continue building this area up. Having a good old time here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place a battery bank here. And it's going to go right there. And let's go ahead and store all the batteries we want here. Perfect. Let's scrap these. Oh, hold on. Charges are empty anyway. Okay. So I need to grab the tool here. And before we actually connect that up, I want to actually have it be connected to this. Because if it's connected to the same thing as the generator, the generator is going gonna, gonna to pull up from the generators. Interact with the battery bank. Over to here. Over to here. Oh, it can't because it's too long. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. 
So what I'll do is I'll hide a little node right there. Hope that that can suffice for it. Battery bank to this node. And then this node, I think, should have enough to come over to here. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Well, that's going to work. Also, I think I will go ahead and connect the generator to that as well. Because then I think the, the generator can recharge the battery. It will be helpful if that is indeed the case. Okay, so we can move these away now. And let's go ahead and get the... These things here. So, one, two, three, one, and then I want to come up to here and I'm going to place this one kind of like here. But we need to aim it. Maybe? How do I how do I aim this? Seriously? Hold on. Seven days to die. How to aim a spotlight. Spotlight aiming keys. You can't seem to find the keys to aim them. You need to place the light in the proper rotation to start with, as you only have around 60 degrees of aiming from this position. If you hold E on the light, you can select the aim option. Um, once you are in the aim option, you see a picture in the upper left representing the aim of the camera. You need to click on the picture, which will bring up a larger version of the camera. From here, you can move the mouse around, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um, so I click here. No? You must power the component to use the... Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. Have to power it first. So let's go ahead and throw another node right there. Close off that there. Can I hit it from here? Come on. Come on. Right, can I not? I was going to lose that one before. I think I can top of the roof and stand on top of this, yeah. Fine, I'll just fucking go on that, okay? Such a waste of time. I could be doing other things. This is too far away. Eat my ass. Okay, now then, let's see if we can actually aim this properly. Aim. Camera PV, you must power the component. What do you mean? Turn it on. Turn it on, and then aim. Camera preview? What do you mean I must power it? It's fucking powered. Power's on. Aim. Oh my god, eat my whole ass, my dude. Guess we'll just turn the fucking generator on. Oh look, now it's on. Why does the battery not work? Hmm? What's wrong with the battery? You too cool to have the battery power, huh? And now I can aim it, right? Okay. Of course, I can only aim that far, but that's fine. That'll work for now. Make sure we put this in the right direction. We want it to go this time. We can do that. And hopefully we can do this. Really? Just a little bit too far away. What if I go down here first? Then can I aim from here? Aha! Eat a duck. Alright, so aim. And then I want it to be kind of like right there. Perfect. Alright. How do I get back on the roof without dying? Oh, look. 
The zombies apparently decided to tunnel in here. Try to at least. Assholes. All right, I'll just go over here. And I can jump up to here, and then I can jump over to here. Oh, wait, I actually have some cobblestone in me, so let's go ahead and upgrade this one again. It would have sucked if it would have fell in there, huh? All right, we're back up here. Do I have to turn the battery bank on? Oh, there's a power button for it. Okay, excellent. So now I can just have the lights on whenever I feel like. That's perfect. Okay. And that'll kind of illuminate the front area here. So, with that in mind... Such a waste of ammo, oh my god. And real quick, get rid of this stuff here. Oop. All right. Then let's grab this stuff, and we can go boop, 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 boop. That. Anything that spawns over here it will be encouraged to kind of run in this way. Over to here. Cool, and before I forget, let's go ahead and put that wall there. Alright. So we'll have two, three. Do kind of like this. Will be kind of our entryway for the zombies to come in at and then we'll leave a nice big one two three hole here whatever i'll deal with that we'll have the auger back and then over on this one one two three and then we'll leave Hole here as well for them to come through. Okay. Split them up a little bit. Oh. And then I just build over here. This might not work this forward. So we're just going to see what happens. The zombies will try to take the easiest path and the quickest path. So if they think they're coming through here, coming all the way around here, and then into here and into here, is the quickest path, they'll do that. So if I cut off all of that and just leave this little iron mine open, hoping that they'll ignore the wall, uh, and go all the way around it to come and get killed. Once I have more blade traps and such, I can kind of link them up to do more. You know what I mean. So, all right. Anyway, um, ma -ma 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 -ma. these lights will kind of light up the uh, the area in front here. It was a little easier to see but once I decide to start actually fighting on top of the wall. But uh, kind of how it's going to be for right now. We have area for them to come in that corner there over here. Also, do I even need this corner, maybe? Maybe I just close this one off, too. Why is this corner getting reinforced? There we go. 
Okay. So now they can enter from that corridor there. They can enter from this hole or that hole or that one there. So I'm hoping that these three avenues of approach will limit them and kind of condense them together and stuff like that. Um, at least that's the, the hope we have in our little hearts. So anyway, anything else I can do right now that would like help me without having to go back and do other stuff? Hmm. What am I carrying right now? Some garbage, okay. Let's go and I'm gonna put some stuff back here. And we'll use this, that, that. Actually, give me this back. I want to keep that. Um, I'm gonna put my cobblestone in here. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna grab the auger. I think we'll do some maintenance to that area in the back there as well at some point, so I think that'll be handy. We can also check the furnaces, make sure we're not doing nothing like that. And this one is also kind of doing nothing. That one's also done. This one is also done. Okay. We don't have any sand to make any more cement. Just kind of be sitting there for now. Okay. Actually, hold on. I can take this stuff and make as much 9mm as I can. There we go, done. Go ahead and grab one of our shotgun turrets. Store these materials here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the batteries in here. How long does those take to go? A minute? Okay, not enough time right now. I'll pass on that. Uh, shotgun turret. I don't know how to load the turrets exactly. Do I have to like hold them in inventory and then load it or? Well, if I place it here, I can just pick it up, right? Yeah, so options. Um, so I can just throw ammunition in it, which is cool. Target strangers, target zombies, target allies, target self. How would you do that? Anyway, let's pick this bad boy up. We're gonna hold three stacks with an O. Let's grab three stacks and whatnot. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and top off my food. I'm also going to go ahead and top off some water by using the green tea here. All right, I was going to get the auger. That's what I was coming back to get. For sure, for sure. All right. The question is, where do I want to put the shotgun turret at? Because um, if I put it... I'm not sure if putting it just on top of here will do much. If I just put it here, uh, is it going to aim down and fire at him, right? That's the question. But maybe if I put like a pillar, a little bit of a pillar here, they're not going to be coming through here to attack. So if I put like a pillar right here, too high, rotate this so it's pointing towards the uh, area here, and I put this like this. It must be powered. Okay. Well, if that's the case, uh, I need to go grab my thing. It makes sense it needs to be powered, but whatever. Okay, let me out. Thank you. What the hell is that? What? Anyway, um, we'll take the node from here. And it actually... This would take from the batteries, not from the other ones. So, never, never mind. Cancel that. Cancel that, I said. Okay. I guess I can run the cable from here to here? Oh, is that docking view? Okay, cool. We'll see how that fares. Um, I might just kind of do like a little bit of a ring outside there. Make it look kind of neat, you know? All right. While we have a couple seconds, I'm going to take the auger. Go around the wall here. I'm just gonna try to move this, some of this nasty you know, dirt kind of in the way here, you see? I'll jump. Zombies to be able to just jump across the wall. Okay. 
that fell perfectly. I think I wanted it to. Yep. Clean this up a little bit here. Follow me, clay and dirt and that stuff. Get that, drop that. Okay. Excellent. So this, hopefully, will be enough to. Baby, stop. Okay, thanks. Did she summon anyone from that little screen there? Doesn't look like it. Excellent. Okay. Let's head back inside. Close the door. I'm going to store the materials that we're not going to be using quite right now. For this, for the building materials. That, just making a bunch of it. Go ahead and store this stuff in there. All right, check the ammo. Oh, the shotgun shells are quite low. That. That. Okay. All right, reload. Last time we got away without using too much of our uh, nine millimeter. Which was nice. Uh, can we do that this time? Question? <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. We have plenty of extra ammunition here. Which is good. Um, actually, right, we were gonna... Try to start things up top with the rocket launcher, I think. Let's go ahead and turn on the batteries here. Go ahead and turn on the generators. Perfect. So if we come outside this time, I'm gonna leave this open actually. Put that right here. We'll have a nice little uh, light show here. You can see them coming from, you know, whatever angle they're coming from. It would be ideal if I could get them to specifically come from this side. Uh, that would be really nice. What I might do is actually seal up this entire area, the area behind the base, and this side area with solid blocks. Um, that way it would kind of force them to. But that is a different matter. Entirely. If I could get them all to focus coming through like this area, they would all definitely group up. It'd be a lot easier target for a rocket launcher. But uh, yeah. Also the turrets, or not the turrets, the uh, the spinny boys. I've been lining this entire area with those. I could. Also, I could just make a land claim block, pop it down here, and pick those up. Whatever. But anyway. We'll see how this goes. We should have plenty of light to uh, tell what the zombies are doing here. And, uh, yeah. We're just gonna see how things go here and how this goes tonight and readjust our strategy from there. Um, yeah. We know that they were, for some reason, attacking into this wall. So, not very nice of them. I mean, it is only 15. Right. Oh. It makes sense that they were trying to get through there rather than going through the field door, but then again there was steel on the other side, so I don't know. Alright. Here comes night. Our what is this, like third, fourth? Night? Hmm. More sirens outside. Here it comes. I see a dog there, I think. That down because that's going to go straight for the door. Otherwise, that's right. Get blasted, motherfuckers! All right, let's go ahead and hit those guys. 
Nice, nice, nice. Group up for me, y'all. Hell yeah. Oh, hey. Did you not do that, sir? Okay, got some good kills right there. Fire another one in that direction. Alright. I think now at this point we want to get back inside because it is, uh... I think the light is fucking me up right now. Okay, let's switch to the, uh... Dark the dog. And... We're gonna pick up the demo guys first here. Why are you crawling already, dude? Get out of here. Let's reload the SMG. Rocket launch is already loaded. Perfect. I'm trying to use as much 9mm as I can here, or not 762. Okay, sorry. Just stop them before they get close to me, you know? Hey, dog. Here's the blades out there when they're doing the hit spot, I think. Is that a dog? Oh, that's me. Yep, my bad. Go ahead and back up. Pick up the demolisher. Demolishers, I guess. Have some people there. Get the you Too bad so far. Got repair it.
think I might have hit that guy. Okay. Loot real quick. You need to go back. Load. Hey, what does A do? Repair? Yeah, no. Thank you. Drop, 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 learn, drop, drop, store, 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 Zombies. What? What change that made it like so quiet now? You want to pick up the auger again, dude? So I just get lucky with what kind of zombies are. weird. Either the zombies got stuck somewhere and they're all trying to break through, or one of the settings I've changed made them not come quite as much. Very, very interesting. Maybe they got a, uh, maybe they got scared of the uh, rocket launcher and they decided to run away. No, 
there's a lot less crawlers too, for some reason. I guess because I'm not treating them automatically with an SMG or something. Magnum. Might as well keep using it rather than wasting my AP ammo and other stuff that takes a lot more. I've done nothing before night though. Do a burst fire since these rounds don't penetrate. Uh, that way, I'm not shooting just dead targets, you know. Damn, how many headshots does it take to kill the big blue guy? The big green guy? Oh my God. Oh, cat blew up. 
again. I don't know why he even blew up. Not like I shot him a bunch of times. Maybe the uh, electrical got him. I decided to just break down that wall. Yep. Anyone in this corner? Looks like that one held just fine. Let's skirt around here. Make sure we're clear of zombies. Looks like we are. All right. Let's jump back up top of here. Turn off battery bank. Turn off generator. Drop that. Cool. Let's loot. God, look at all this garbage. Let's go ahead and throw out the stuff I don't need, like the hazmat jackets. I don't really need treasure maps right now either, so I'm being honest. Ooh, a level 2 impact driver. Awesome. I think everything else I want to keep, so... Back to this. One more bag here. Next one. Alright, let's get rid of the rest of the garbage. We picked up. I think that's everything that's garbage gone. Okay, cool. Blow this baby up. Take all of this. Ew. All right. So I'm crafting all that stuff again. Excellent. Um, I'm gonna store the seven six two in here. things left. Can I store more shotgun shells in here? I can. Those. And then, um, I guess I don't need leather, so we'll just toss that and take the pack. Hell yeah. All right. Well, I don't know what the deal was between this horde and last horde. Um, it seemed like there were not as many enemies, 
Also, I didn't get hungry at all, which was weird, I guess, because I wasn't aiming down sight near as much or something. I'm not sure how it works. It was weird. Anyway, for everything. Then over here. Go on first. Melt down those batteries while we're waiting. Now I'm storing stuff. Go ahead and drink one of these red teas. Okay. Medical supplies. Store. Blood bag two. Excellent. Gonna grab that. Grab the shotgun turrets. Um, right, not making it here. Yep. Iron. I'm gonna throw those in there for now. Melt them down. Whatever. Uh, normal pistol stuff. How's it going, Apple? How are you? So each of these is three, so three times four is twelve. So I'll just get twelve stacks of shotgun shells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I guess we'll take three more just to cap off the rest of the stuff we got. One excellent. I'm gonna take this stuff with me here, I think. Those are melting down nicely. All right, I'm still making a bunch of cobblestone, of course. All right, so looks like we got nine ex nine points of experience levels uh, while we were doing this horde, which makes sense since it's two days less, and last night we got twelve. So it's not too much of a difference, I guess. There were like, an exact amount of zombies still, but I don't know. Something still feels weird about it, you know. Finish leveling up heavy armor. I'm gonna level up Master Chef here. And just because I want to finish strength, let's go ahead and just max out that. All right, everything is strength, except for Pack Mule's done. Uh, we might as well get Pack Mule next, too. Not that I need it or anything, but just for the heck of it. Wait for this to finish, then we can turn this furnace off. Oop, okay. All right, now we can throw in the grass and the lead to get forged here. Go ahead and make more bullet tips while we're waiting. All right. Perfect. Let's go back up here. We got to repair, sort some stuff, and fix stuff up as usual. All right. Uh, all right. So let's readjust this stuff real quick. There. There we go. All right. Let's take all of our repair materials, everything. Grab this, that, that, and we'll grab these blocks as well. Excellent. Go ahead and store this cobblestone here. Oh, cool. Along with that ammunition. Okay, perfect. And this is still empty. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's start with the roof and the electrical components up here. Oh, damn, okay. All right, Roof, how are you looking? All right, this one's pretty much untouched. Got a little bit of damage here, but I'm not sure, again, if that's from the previous night or this night. There were a couple of explosions from cops that happened in here. Let's go ahead and clear all of this damage. These look surprisingly decent. I'm surprised. One. One and this one. And everything's good. Okay, cool. Next up, let's just check our electric traps, which actually need to be repaired. That, repair that. All right. Now the other side. Boop, boop. Okay. All right, all that is perfectly repaired now. Go ahead and go down here. 
Picks up these traps. Okay, perfect. And now we'll do the floor. If there's anything under 9,000 here, there's one, there's one, there's one. And how's the door look? Door is pretty much secure. As are the bars there. All right. Oh, I'm now out of steel. That's what happens, I guess. Okay, well, we'll pass on doing any more steel work for right now. I'll just kind of make a mental note that we have to upgrade some of that. And like I said, it looks like from back here, they didn't hit too much more. Nice. So I think I'll just kind of seal this place up. the other side well and do it down this corner all right excellent now we just have all this here left Looks good, and this, of course, this this uh, area here, which I think we'll just do with cobblestone. So let's go one, two, three. And we'll just do two extra rows here. I'm not gonna add a whole lot, but considering they also have to get through this side here, they might be deterred to continue going through it. What I would like to see. up here easily all right perfect so hopefully now that we've sealed off these two entrances oh hi there doggies they're running around to try to get me get those two out yep out of magnum ammo right now, but that's fine. And right, then let's go ahead and patch this here. Add a couple extra walls here, just to kind of solidify that. Want? Okay. So now the zombies can get through there and there uh, easily. It might be actually better to seal that area too, just so there's one entrance for them, right? Uh, but we can think on that. Uh, I want to do it. Let's do it. Do it off. Zombies now have one entrance to get through. Excellent. Okay. Go ahead and add an extra little lip there. Going to make a nice little arch kind of thing. Actually, would it be under here? Make a arch. And oops. Actually, hold on. Can't I just do on face? Ah, okay. All right, advance. Passed it again. Do this one first then. Go and then a little piece to go over that, which is probably this one. There we go. And then can I get a one maybe? I do cast here. Do that. 
and then completely past the part that I want to, to, to be. I'm an idiot. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah, no, it's not exactly flush. Well, whatever. Good enough. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, that's all set up. This is all set up. I'm gonna go ahead and make another little wall here. Just kind of fully solidify these areas off. Let's... I'll also make this actually four high here. Just to dissuade zombies from any particular ideas they might be getting. as well since we're at it okay Let's go Might as well just little nine area as well excellent okay now that all is nice like that Might as well do a line here too why not Right now, the only concern is that they're going to break through the walls here, of course. So let's go ahead and solidify this area. Solidify this as well. Not there. Come on. Who would who would want to put a block in there? Well, also, didn't I need a auger for a piece out here? Right over here. Get rid of this piece. Okay. Nice. Next, let's grab the cement. Actually, I can just use cobble for the foundation here. Doesn't really need to be anything fancy. Damn dead dogs. Get out of the way! I don't want your meat, but I'll take it. You're in the way. Alright, so. Now that we're up here. See just how thick these walls are. I need them to be at least too thick. I think. So we'll do this. Then here. Here. I guess this is going to be three thick, but you know what? Better this than zombies coming to snack on your brain, you know? All right. And of course, this whole area. All right, let's go ahead and... Um... It's all done. There's just this one little thin wall right here, which doesn't mean anything at this particular time. Um, what I will do is add two more layers to the interior of the wall here. Perfect. Which is going to kind of mess up the... Uh, Turrets, or not the, not the, the lights, I guess. But you know what? Maybe we just. Maybe we just do that. How how did I put it? How did I do that? Oh, wait, okay. 
anyway, we'll do that, and then we'll do kind of a similar thing over here. Unmask all these up. And at this point, if they do decide to break through this little thin wall here, it's not a big deal, I guess. Um, that's just going to be what they can do then. All right. The only thing that really matters is to make sure they're not coming from the sides or the, the rear of the base. They all hopefully funnel in through here, but we'll have to, of course, see what I can do. Um, I think I will, however, take my cement here. And we're just going to add an extra layer here. Right there. Let's go ahead and swap this out for that. And we'll do our foundation. If I have an extra wall concrete around the exterior, it might dissuade them even more. That you know? way I don't have to have all solid concrete, but. We'll have a nice little wall here to protect and coming, right? Okay. Of course, that's just one thick there, but that's all right for right now. One, two, four, one, three, one, three. Let me make sure we do this so the zombies don't climb up it. Careful. Don't place these wrong, please. All right. With that, um, let's go back into the base real quick. I'm sure that the uh, stuff that I've been producing down here is more or less done. At least done smelting the, uh, the trophies and stuff. So we can go ahead and get on here and then put in our lead and our brass here, our brass casings. Um, yeah, I turned that off on purpose. I do need more steel though, so let's go ahead and grab this here. Anything producing here? Nope. Anything producing here? More bullets. Fine. That's fine. All right. Looking good. Um, go ahead and store this stuff in here though. Food and stuff that we found. Go. Excellent. All right, moving on. Now we can finish repairing the uh, the area. Let's actually do that before we do anything else here. Do that and cancel that. More cobblestone shapes. Okay. <clears throat> In we go. All right. So did I finish making or upgrading the floor, repairing the floor, what the hell you call it? I think I did. I think I ran out on this wall, right? There. Perfect. 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 Okay. Now this wall. And these, these, that one, that one, that one, that one, one. I might look at that one, it's almost a thousand. All right, cool, everything's done. How's our little turret doing here? If I open it up, it, uh, it didn't fire at all last night. Why? Why did it not fire at all? Am I too far away from it here? Is that a thing? Okay, what if I do like... Mm. Um, what's, what's the word? Uh, claim block? Let's build a claim block first. Cobblestone rock, cobblestone shit. Rocks in here. Where's that airdrop at? Over there? A ways away. I don't want to do that. Alright, once we get this land claim block, I'm going to place it down so I can pick up these blade traps. 
play some shotgun turrets in other areas. But I don't know why the shotgun turret didn't work. It makes sense. I didn't hear it, I guess, but weird. Um, maybe if I put some up here, they might actually fire. And then I can go ahead and grab um, the power line from here, here. Wait, yeah, that's the right one, not the battery powered one. They're there, and then if I get rid of this, I can do options. I think the camera pre. All oh, right, it's not powered yet. Right, of course. My bad. Being stupid. Yes, I'm being. All right, let me go ahead and place this block. Place it there. Go ahead and activate it. Yep. I can come down here, and I can just pick these up. Kind of move them about a little. It takes so long to pick up. Right, I think we'll do one more horde today. And then uh, we'll continue the horde nights another stream. Right now, we'll just kind of work this base together. And go from there. Also, I guess I could just make a tunnel from here to here, in theory, but at the same time, if I just made a tunnel from there to there, the uh, first original entrance to my base there wouldn't really do much, now would it? I think I'll pass on that, but for now, I think I'll place the blade traps that we picked up here, make them nice and uh, fancy there. Then we'll go ahead and go here, 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 there we go. Okay, now we have a nice little, uh, we're going to walk in here, we're going to try to get through blade traps, and they're going to run out there. Okay, so get rid of that, grab this. This right now is one, two, three blocks away from that, so... One, two, three. Wait, is that three including or excluding? Okay, three excluding. So one, two, three, and then four. We'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Then we'll go ahead and grab that. Fill it with ammo. Go ahead and put the nail gun there so I can get the wire tool. All right, um, I guess I can just link it from this one, this one, go, nice. All right, I got one more turret, and I'm not sure where I want to place it. I'm not sure what these will be doing. Um, I just jump up here. Maybe I just, yeah, maybe I just put it in the middle, and I'll call it good here. I'm not sure if it'll actually fire or anything, but worth a shot. Right? Okay, so these all should be linked up with power now. Uh, let me make sure they all have ammunition in them. I'm not sure I loaded this one. Back. I did not. Okay. Now all of them are loaded with ammunition, They're ready to go for next Horde Night, where we can hopefully see whether or not uh, they function this time around. Why they did not function the first time. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna seriously just remove this ladder because it's messing me up now. Now that I can actually jump like multiple blocks high, I don't need it. Okay. So we have this all ready to go. Let's go ahead and toss the rest of our stuff in here. I'm gonna grab these cobblestones. And I've already repaired everything, so let's go ahead and throw the shotgun shells in here real quick. And let's. I'm gonna make more cobblestone shapes. Like that. Hold on. Let's list it as logically. Let's combine those together. Good to go there. I'm gonna drop that. Let's go ahead and throw our 
repair materials here, along with our thing there and a thing there. A little bit of cobblestone can go in there too. Excellent. Hold the auger here. This here. All right. Wait, was I holding a torch? Oh no, it's my my weapon. Duh. Being an idiot for some reason. Okay, cool. So, bring out the auger, and I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this little bit of land here, I think. Right now it's just going to get in our way. Have problems for us as we go, and I forgot to grab fuel, so let's go do that quick. I'm about to run out. Look at this 10k fuel, and let's go ahead and fuel this. Thank God I can jump three blocks higher, I would have been just trapped in there. Okay. Clearing this out, making it look nicer. Everything's fine, and we're going to kill more zombies today. Yeah, I'm really not sure what happened last board night where we ended up uh, not getting overrun like we did the last couple of nights. The only thing I changed was the um, length of the day, which it shouldn't affect, um, unless if the length of the day applies a modifier to how many zombies show up. That doesn't make sense though, right? And also the fact that I, I increased the time that each day was from 50 to 60 minutes at the fall pit again. Um, I guess it could be that. Maybe if you have less time in the day, the zombies spawn quicker or something? But then again, there's still only like a 64 maximum per person they can be, so... Like me having... That doesn't matter. I'm really not sure what the heck happened. And collapses. I really wish they wouldn't like create piles. Dirt after they fell. For one thing, oh, I hate it. I can combine these stacks. Excellent. Okay. Keep going. Good. Uh, let me start from over here. Now. I spent all my points I did. Okay, I just want to make sure. Three. Right, let's get close to this ball here, I think. Go. Got a nice chunk away. Of 
course, if it all just falls onto the ground, it doesn't really matter now, does it? This is honestly the most frustrating part of clearing this, this whole chunk out, is that everything down here is two blocks high, so I'd have to do this whole thing in order to get rid of all of it. I think shortening the amount that we're actually going to good idea here. Where? Where's that hussy at? There she is. Yep. Handled. Alright, switch back to the auger. What's up? Pull there, god darn it. Got a bit pushing it. We still want a little bit of a tunneling expedition. We'll just go straight through it. creates a huge mess of work. this little bit here. Giving stuff up to manageable chunks is really what like makes it just nicer to deal with in general. If you're like, oh, I have to do all of this, it's like a daunting task, right? It's like, okay, we're going to do this little section here first, and then it's going to be a lot more magical. Seriously, why does it feel like I have all the time in the world right now when last time it, it was not? Hmm. Each day is only supposed to be like 60 minutes, right? Which means, like, I'm only getting an extra 10 minutes to do stuff. But for some reason, it feels... Like I'm having all the time in the world. Is it because the cleanup didn't take so long? I guess we have an extra two hours at the beginning. We have to four to six rather than just six now, I guess. I don't know. Still seems like a lot of extra time. Anyway, let's finish up this little bit of earth fixing. Caused a bunch of bubble piles. Oh, we leveled up for mining. Nice. That's cute. That means we can spend our point in Pack Mule and level it up for more. Yeah. Need to or anything, but. Yeah, no. Okay. They're 
almost done with this little plot of land now. We just got these four little pillars here. Boop. 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 Excellent. I think the only mistake we made was a little hole here. Yeah. Everything else looks smooth. No two, two holes. Good. Good, 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 good. Love to see it. Okay. Let's go ahead and construct this stuff. had me. Okay, perfect. The cement blocks. That. Cement this bit up here. Now we have a wall of uh, cobblestone surrounded by a wall of cement, which then has a bunch of steel and concrete layers there. And this side here is pretty much the same. Um, I will just add another bit here. I can do another layer of concrete on this side. On the I swear to God. You know what? Care enough. Also, that piece, oh my fucking god. Well, that just makes this entire wall pointless by doing that, so I'm gonna have to destroy the cement block. Continue this. Okay. And of course there's this one little bit here, but still they'd have to go through a bunch to get anywhere near it. So um I'm gonna go AFK for one second, go to the bathroom, come right back. We're just gonna let time pass because we have plenty of time, it seems. So, you're back.
Well, uh, first things first. I'm gonna repair a magnum. Let's cancel all this stuff real quick. <coughs> Excellent. Over reload this. Okay, we'll have to reload once we get our ammo and stuff back, but that's fine. Um, I think I'm gonna auger this little bit here away. Just so they don't have less than right. Always me having it here. Go back. Might not even more. Add more. There we go. Perfect. Get rid of this stuff quick. So this will be the first night we've had the whole wall basically surrounded um, and leaving them one option to come in. Uh, let's actually go ahead and do this wall. Real quick. Otherwise they might think that, oh, this is a wall we can easily break through. Let's do it. Go. Being able to block, jump three blocks high is nice. All right, so this is our wall. This side, not on. It's unfortified, but that doesn't matter too much. If they get there, they're gonna run, run a little extra bit to, to that area. I think. At least I hope that's what they'll do. Um, that area also doesn't matter too much. They have an entire base to go through to get to me. Uh, I think we're good everywhere else. So let's go ahead and we'll go back in here. Open the door. Close the door. Go ahead and throw. Well, I say throw, but uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. That okay. Throw in our gasoline. Um, let's grab shotgun shells. Seven six two. A stack of the other stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and throw these blocks back in here along with the auger. Keep the nail gun out. Grab our rocket. Excellent. Now let's reload everything. That's closed. Perfect. I do need to eat a little bit of food. I'm getting a little hungry, so we're going to do that real quick. Now we have a, about an hour left. All right. Let's go ahead and eat... We'll just eat some bacon and eggs here. Do the for now. Turn that off. Pause that. Take these back. From there. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. Perfect. So right now we're producing quite a bit of that. We have some more brass. I'm doing on. We are out of gunpowder, so the uh, the next day tomorrow we might actually mine some more gunpowder. Not gunpowder. Uh, coal that we have. Gunpowder. Okay, so this door is open, ready for me to go down. Ready for me to turn on the things here. Perfect. Perfect. Generator bank. Oof, that's not good. It's actually maxed out now. Well, sometimes that's just what happens. I guess we have a lot of things there. I might pick up one of the um, blade traps a little later. Actually, let's do it now. We have time. Let's go. 
I got the furthest one. I'm not sure how much power this will free up, but it'll free up a little bit, at least. A good 30 power. I think each takes 30 or 20, something like that. Might be enough. Here. Now let's turn the generator on, and just under. Perfect. All right. One more Horde Knight, and then we'll rock it. Okay. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. So, I guess while we're waiting, the plan as per usual, we're going to stay up here, fire off our rockets. Hopefully, we have the zombies that are coming through the way here. Hopefully, we'll get a, a bunch of them, but if we're feeling... That we got a lot of them down below that are going to be getting through the uh, main home area. I'd like to get rid of that. Also, we'll be oh, these guys. We should target zombies. Should be good. I'm going to lock this ammo just to see if there's like a difference between locking ammo and not locking ammo. Maybe I have to lock the ammo in, or it'll be allowed to use. I don't know. Also, the bounding box things are annoying me. Okay. And here we go. Lights on. Generator on. And the turrets are definitely getting power. I hit the camera preview button. And I do that. Back out. Maybe that one will fire now. Let's do the same one with this one over here. There we go. They're firing. Excellent, excellent. Okay. I'm going to hold off until we get a couple more grouped up near here. That will work. I have a cop. Do it again. Go. Well, let's see it. Do it again. Two more rockets. Roof up, roof up, there we go. Good shot. One more. Alright, let's go. Out of bullets. Grab him for that again. Go to the SMG first. And actually, don't even need the SMG out. Good for me. Well, I am going to go ahead and put the uh, rocket launcher back in here. Listen to the beautiful sound of the, the shotgun turret just doing their job. Huh. Maybe they're doing the job a little too good. This is me, guys. Come on. See my experience going up. Experience and skill gain will be a little less today, mainly due to the fact that the shotgun turrets are killing people, which gives me 50% less experience. That should be okay, though. They're really doing work. I'll give them that. Level. Everything is strength leveled up. Yay!
It's definitely a calmer night since the turrets are doing all the work right now. That's good to see. Boy blew up. Ah. I do reload. Took him out. Him Getting some guys in here now. These two hit the turrets working, so maybe the ones that are further out. Out of range at this point. Javelin Master. Not that we need it, but... Got to reload, top. Huh? Don't blow up on me. Shotgun still seems to be going off, so that's a good sign. Soon yet is a demolisher. Kind of turning, I'd say. Yo, is this finally a purple auger? Oh my god. Just throw that in here for now.
Seriously, guys? All the cops are just gonna start blowing up, huh? Bricks. Gonna fucking kill the cops then. Cops right here are working the mall, oh my god. Probably reload my. That's a good one. Got another cop. It's really dark outside for some reason. Batteries turned on, right? I should be getting light from those. If I can blew something up. What do they do? What do those dirty sons of bitches do out here? Uh, excuse me, sir. How did you get up here? I think they're all still connected over there. How are you guys getting up here? Are they just like... Yeah, they're hitting the wall there, trying to get up. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. I'm gonna have to close this hatch. Reload. Shotgun. It's like a dark tunnel it's coming down right now. And it's kind of scary. But they're just coming out of the darkness into my area. Two more hours left and we can assess the damage outside, see what it did. See where we need to fortify and make them do what I want them to do. for now.
reload. through there. Okay, well. Oh, come on. Oh, sure. Sure how we got in there, but okay. I'd have to just abandon the base for a moment. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ow. Kind of clear him from behind here. back into the base. I think it should still be secure. Now he went. You gotta get him off the door. Okay, gotta repair this now too. Let's cancel those. about to bust down. Yep, it's now daylight. We are basically secure at this point. We get like really screwed by like a bunch of people coming in at the same time for some weird reason. I think for right now we're good. Okay, well, that was the first time this base had gotten breached. And mostly because of my ineptitude at deciding to make areas for them to easily get up at. But, you know what, that's fine. We'll just reload everything. We're gonna go ahead and toss. The ammo we do not need right now into here. That way all that's secured and in a good location here. Um, and then let's go ahead and um, make some cobblestone stuff quick. And while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and just, as usual, loot everything. Alright, we managed to get everything there, which is good. Let's go ahead and turn off the generator. And turn off the battery bank. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so what do we got here? Drop, drop, uh, learn, drop, 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 learn, drop. I think I already have a six impact driver, right? Yep, I do. Let's go ahead and uh, just drop that. And then I think everything else I want to keep. We'll hold on to that. Now that everything's turned off, we can get out here, grab the rest of the loot. Uh, drop, drop, take the rest. Take it all. 
prop. Prop, take a risk. Learn, take a risk. Prop, take a risk. I think they only attacked this part because I was standing on top of that. And that's why that happened. Um... I knew I heard something here. Maybe it's attacking my old base. Okay, well. I also had a bag up here, which. Take all that. So, where did they actually get in at? I guess is the question. It looks like they attacked this wall for whatever reason. And. They didn't go there. Where did. How did they get up? There's nowhere that they could have gotten up at. At least that I can see here. Unless it was literally all just them pushing each other up higher to be able to get on top of it. Which they do sometimes, so it makes sense that that could have happened. Um, unless they jumped up from like right here, but that that not make sense, right? There's nowhere else they could have gotten up at, so I guess we'll fortify that area and then probably clear away that corner. Ugh. And then with that we should be secure, but I don't know how else they would have gotten up other than those few areas there. It makes no sense. Anyway, let's jump down here and let's... Um, we're not going to worry about getting loot stuff quite yet, and repairing, I mean, we're going to worry about getting loot, sorry, we're not going to worry about repairing quite yet, we are going to go ahead and get our stuff sorted here, we are a little bit hungry as well, so, toss everything in, let's go ahead and use tuna fish gravy, also use a bacon and eggs, Throw in the trophies here. That's melting. Throw in the uh, crossbow bolts there. Get those smelting. Toss that there. Medical supplies next. Toss everything in there. Food and beer. Food and water next. We'll just drink this one coffee that we have a spare of. And do that. Put that in there. We got tokens for some reason. There we go. Put them there. Tap there. And then this. Oh. I guess we'll just chew on these vitamins then. Since we can't store them. Uh, I think everything else for right now is just this and that. Everything else is ammunition. That's good. Uh, pistol ammo. There we go. We're going to be filing pistol ammo for a little bit, huh? Oh, we're already done with that. Okay. Uh, throw these doorknobs in then. Wait, how did this get hurt? What? What? What broke this? What repairs it? I don't... Did it just break because I put a new one down? That would make sense. It would make more sense than something getting in the base and attacking it. But, I don't know, that's weird. Whatever. But what happened to... the spotlights? The wiring's fine. I don't know why... They wouldn't necessarily work. So that one wasn't firing. That one fired all of its rounds. This one didn't shoot shit, apparently. Hmm? So hold on. Do I have to lock the ammo? I have to lock the ammo. That makes sense, I guess. 
in a sort of stupid way, I guess. But let's go grab our stuff and repair. Okay. And real quick, I'm going to go ahead and modify this. And we're going to modify this. Put these new pieces in there. Auger, we'll do that. I'm gonna throw this old auger away. Don't need it anymore. All right, cool. All right, let's begin here, of course. The door will definitely need a lot of repairs here. There we go. This wall took a lot of damage. Well, the roof. I think the roof should be mostly untouched. Except for certain areas where the top exploded. Okay. Floor is looking pretty good. Okay. Next up, these walls here. Surprisingly, the walls look like they got untouched, mostly. The ones further down when the cop exploded a couple of times, that definitely did it. But, for the most part, we managed to come away from this pretty much unscathed here. How about the right wall? The right wall took a little bit more hits down here as well. Oops. For some reason, it seems like the right wall takes more damage than the left one, doesn't it? Bizarre. All right. I, I didn't want to close that. Sorry about that. Let's close that up again. All right. All this stuff looks good. Generator and stuff is okay. We're going to have to refortify that. All that stuff looks good. All right. Now for the troubling part area down here. Again, not sure how exactly they came up here, but they did, and that's not good. Oh. So, I guess that'll be fine. Check the electric parts. Okay. The other side. I didn't realize land claim blocks like completely get destroyed whenever you uh, place a new one down. A little minor damage to these areas. Um, I think we can just fix that by doing that and then we'll reinforce this area just to be safe. Again, not sure how they got up here. Um, it doesn't make much sense, but this is another one that they to break in through. Because yeah. they didn't, it doesn't look like they came back up from here, right? Unless they jumped from here, which if they just, uh, that's stupid. I mean, that's like two blocks, right? They had to have come from here if anywhere. Yeah, that's that's where they came from more than likely. Let's remove this so it doesn't happen again. Let me just do the hole in this little corner here first. Separate the wall and stuff. Go. Okay. I'll make this collapse, and then we should be good. What she is having is that. There we go. Okay. Now that this is removed, let's go ahead and do this side as well, right here. 
that there, put that there. So let's do this cobble. And then this, that, and then we can go ahead and expand out this way a bit as well. That way it's uh, out here. Yep. Got her. Got him. Got him. And got him. Oh, I think I missed one. Oh well, whatever. Um, let's also while we're just kind of here in this corner. Uh, might as well dig up this little bit here. So it doesn't cause issues in the future. And I'll just leave this stuff here for now. It doesn't cause too much issue. He says. As it'll probably cause issues in the future. I think I missed one shot, so there's going to be a reload. Nope. Apparently I didn't. Can you stop, like, wiggling back and forth, sir? Thank you. Okay. That. Handled. Did this take any damage? It did. I'm just going to fortify that. Okay. Anything in here take damage? A little bit right there, but I think that was from before. Oh! They just walked right in through here, huh? I guess I didn't see this hole since it was, uh, you know, like that. Let's seal that. Repair this. But still, that's not how they got, like, up on top, right? Is that a zombie hissing? Where's he at? Is that just me hearing shit? Like, have I just been hearing zombies for so long that... Oh, hey bud. Knock it off. Also, a loot bag dropped over here. Let's go grab that. Didn't notice that before. Oh, more shotgun shells. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, so we'll just go ahead and seal this hole. It's more concrete. Anything else on this wall damage? That one's a little bit. All right. And since they wanted to be assholes about this, how much cement do I have left? 200? Okay, let's... I shouldn't be using it there. Whatever. They might try to come back in this hole again, so we'll go ahead and do this to them. Got the cobblestone, and we'll make this cobblestone here. Because the, the cobblestone third top doesn't help the zombies at all. This layer is just decoration. Leave that there for now. All right, and then... We had some damage to our front gate here, just mainly because I was standing on top of it. So let's fix that baby up for it. There we go. Did I get damaged too? I did. Can't repair that. I think they were only attacking that because of me being up there, like I said. These took a little bit of damage. I mean, that one took damage because I think they walked from there. But this one took damage because also uh, just stupidity. Uh, I think I'll pick these up. And I'll reroute the power. Mm, okay, I do have one. Perfect. Let's pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Let's go. Okay. I'll pick this one up too. And then can I run power from this one to this one? 
I can. Cool. Let's go ahead and just circuit all of my uh, shotgun traps together. And then let's get one blade trap here. I'm going to go ahead and place it just right there. And we'll just daisy chain this one to there. One. So now that I know we have to lock the ammunition, um, all of this should be just a huge kill zone of shotgun shells, right? Uh, that'll be great. Um, all right. Perfect. So that wall was fine. Um, how about this? Did this take any damage? Nope. Although, I am going to go ahead and put a, another layer here. Just in case this is where they jumped up as well. I don't want it to be the cause. All right. I also had a guy that was down here, so it wouldn't make sense if this is where they jumped up from in the first place. So that should hopefully prevent them from doing so in the future. Uh, let's go ahead and fortify this again with another row. Because if they spawned back here and that other side was enough to, for them to be like, oh, we'll just dig through here. Um, it might make more sense if we do this. So, one more row to be safe. Okay, and then I might as well do this here. Excellent. I know we say we're going to get gunpowder, but preparing the base and getting ready for another possible horde takes precedent. So I'm just going to concrete this area. Also, so they don't get any ideas. Okay, then we can go ahead and use this. Excellent. Yeah, I did see a lot that was there to begin. Um, now, do I just cement these fully? Maybe I do. I'll just make sure they don't attack the back area, first of all. Having this open having them be able to attack here is not a good thing. They don't want them to destroy the ladder, essentially, if they were to, for some reason, dig through all these layers of steel and concrete, you know? This area, I think, should be okay for right now, since we didn't see too many come that way other than jumping over. Um, this side here, though, Just a little bit there. We do have limited concrete right now, though. So, definitely want to be careful of where I put all this. Do this one wall now. Okay, and then we can go here. We have enough to do a stack there. All right, so that's all of our concrete used. We're just a little bit short, it looks like, which is unfortunate. But we can at least cover all this up. And now they have that thick of walls to get through. Looks like they actually destroyed some pieces there too, which is also not ideal. Man, they just like destroyed all a bunch of like walls here, didn't they? They were like all over this freaking backside, like I don't show them. Well, it's fine. I think we're good here now. So we don't have to worry about them trying that nonsense again. Okay. So should be all good. Pause for a moment, take a breath, think. Okay. 
So for the most part, everyone did what I wanted them to do, which was go to the, the front area. That was real nice. Um, what I could potentially do in the future is get like a, a garage door for right here. Um, not a garage door, it's a door lower. Yeah, this kind of door. Although it does take forged iron and mechanical parts, so wasting one would not be cool. I was thinking I'd like them to like build up there. Get them all built up, then use a rocket to kill a bunch of them at the same time. That might not be ideal. Maybe we don't. But anyway, this area should be pretty much secure. I, I think I'll just fill this in with cobblestone now. Just this one little pocket, I'm sure we'll make them. And then we have this area over here, which I'm going to hope doesn't need to be filled in. Because we have this whole base on the side of the wall. But if it does, we'll do that next time. Um, after we go through a horde. Let's repair the M60. Cancel that. Uh, was I making cobblestone shapes or cobblestone? I forget at this point. I guess both at some point, right? Drop all this. And we're good. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and put away our building materials. Our extra blade trap. This, that, 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 that. I'll keep these for now. Thank you. Okay, so. We have our extra ammunition and everything. So we're back the pliers. Go. Okay. Uh, I guess we have a thing of rapid building class here for some reason. What used to go there? Uh oh, whatever. Anyway, door is open, so let's go ahead and close that. All right. Mm. Let's get in here. Let's uh, see what kind of food we can make quick. We are running a little low on food. One thing we are doing. Uh, so let's store that there. And then take all real quick. I'm going to store the food that we actually... Oops, the wrong button. We'll store the food that we can actually eat in here now. And then we'll grab the meat, the pumpkin, egg, corn, cornmeal, mushrooms, um, fat, super corn, for the 762, and the shotgun shells just so I can have extra room to pick stuff up. Uh, let's grab the Potatoes, hops, let's get some water in that as well. Okay, what can we make? A uh, bunch of garbage, more garbage. Ooh, we can make more tuna fish uh, toast stuff. Let's do that. That's very useful. Uh, we have sham chowder, pumpkin bread. I know pumpkin bread sucked. That was worthless to make. Oh, we can make spaghetti. We can make steak and potatoes. What was actually good in here? I forget. Gumbo, steak and potatoes was not even up here. Oh, it's not a good food. Um, we got shepherd's pie, gumbo, and sham, which are also very high tier. And we can make sham chowder. Quite a lot of it, actually. Um, was it shepherd's pie that was really good up there? I'm honestly forgetting. Uh, I think we can make a bunch of that, though. So let's go ahead and make 10 shepherd pie. Let's go ahead and make 10 sham chowder. Why not? And it looks like, uh, at this point, water is a limiting factor for us right now. Let's go ahead and grab a couple more water. And then we can make more stuff. So more sham chowder. Fill that up. Use all, use all our sham. Uh, we can make meat stew, which... If you look at meat stew right now, I think I have some... It only does 50 health, so it's not too good. Um, we can make some blueberry pies. What else can I make with blueberry? Just really that. Okay. Blueberry pie, what else does it take? Eggs? Yeah, no, never mind. Um, and then let's make... Let's just make all the cornbread we can. 
That'll be good. All right. Go ahead and store all of our canned goodies in here. That's all we're going to be making for right now. And then all of our other ingredients we'll put back as well. Not the tea. I don't know why I had the tea there. That. Actually, I think I'll just drink both of these. Okay. And then this needs to be turned off. I'll grab this. And I'll put it in here for later use. Grab this stuff. That there. All right. Seeing the cracks in the land claim block are throwing me off, but, uh, yeah, anyway. Oops, hold on. I don't have any fuel with me. Make sure to grab some fuel. Okay, and also I can go to the mods box. Finally, I can modify my auger with another large fuel tank. Oh yeah, let's fuel this up. We're gonna go mine some coal real quick, and uh, we'll basically just wrap things up as we're mining coal, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna mine some coal for today, and then tomorrow night we'll continue to, uh, fight the hordes that have coal. I guess it's just right here, so... Not there. Around here. Alright. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for... I don't know, it's probably gonna be hard to do an outro while I'm mining coal for a while as hell, right? Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching, hanging out, and everything. We'll continue again next time, whenever that is. And we're going to see how long we can go with One Day Hordes. And uh, if we die, we'll end the series there. Or a new game or something happens. Yeah, a lot of stuff to do. Basically, if we run out of ammunition, we're screwed. That's the, the one thing. So, we don't have enough gunpowder, or we don't have enough brass. Stuff like that, it's gonna be real hard for us to continue surviving um, the hordes. So, what we really have to do is be mindful of that and make sure that we do not overextend or anything like that. We gotta make sure that we have exactly what we need, do all we can to survive. Yeah. Anyway, that'll be everything from here. I'm just gonna continue mining a little bit. Probably cause a collapse, as one does, but uh, for now, that'll be everything, everyone. So, thank you all for hanging out, and until next time, bye-bye.